Expectations on the plan say President Bush will call for a surge of U.S. troops in Baghdad, at least 20,000. The sources say troops may be sent to Iraq all at once to have a big impact, but more likely they'll be phased in. The president's decision comes after more than two months of discussions. His address to the nation is scheduled for Wednesday at 9 p.m. Well, it's time for the results of tonight's eye poll. We asked, do you think sending more troops to Iraq is the right decision? Using your digital remotes, 30% pressed A for yes and 70% pressed B for no. You can still vote and leave us your comments on our website at baynews9.com. Bay News 9 eye polls are non-scientific and are available only to Bright House Network's digital cable customers. A Moroccan who helped the September 11th hijackers has been sentenced to 15 years by a German court. The 32-year-old, who was a friend of three of the suicide pilots, was convicted in November of being an accessory to murder. His case was then given to a state court in Hamburg for sentencing. Prosecutors say the defendant knew the hijackers intended to use their aircraft to stage attacks. Judges in Hamburg acted on the government's recommendation to impose the maximum penalty. In a ruling today, the Supreme Court backed the government's right to make airline passengers show identification before boarding a plane. Libertarian activist and millionaire John Gilmore challenged the rules, saying they could lead to illegal searches. The Justice Department argued that demanding ID protects passengers' safety. The high court ruled without comment. Authorities are investigating a strong odor that blanketed Manhattan and surrounding areas on Monday. Mayor Michael Bloomberg says so far air quality tests do not indicate high levels of natural gas and conditions do not appear to be dangerous. But the cause is still under investigation. In Austin, Texas, police were forced to shut down 10 blocks in the heart of downtown after dozens of birds were found dead in the street. Authorities say preliminary tests show no dangerous chemicals in the area, but they still have not determined why 60 pigeons, sparrows, and grackles turned up dead in the street. So far, no human injuries or illnesses have been reported. Authorities in Idaho are dealing with a similar problem. Hundreds of owls have turned up dead. Experts are studying the owls and have determined some are being hit by vehicles, but they still can't say this is the only reason the owls are dying out in such large numbers. You're watching Bay News 9. When you're away from your TV, go to baynews9.com for the latest in local, national, and international news. This marine weather is in the lakes and 42 in Dade City. Again, I'm going to call it mostly clear, but there are some high, thin clouds out there streaming from west to east across our skies. So we'll just call it chilly in Polk County with low around 48 in Lakeland, 49 in Winter Haven. Now keep in mind, although these numbers aren't that far below what our typical climatological average initial touchdown, the first touchdown of the game, but after that it was Florida, Florida, Florida. People here just could not almost believe what they were seeing. Once we got to the fourth quarter and that score was just, you know, out, unbelievable, unbelievable, people started to scream, it's over, it's over, before the fourth quarter was even over because they just knew at that point that Florida had won. Of course, they are also making history tonight. Uh, Florida now becomes the first Division I school to ever have be the reigning champs in both basketball and football. People here tonight were talking a lot about that, how very proud they are of Florida. And, of course, you know, there's been a lot of controversy going into this game, whether Florida should even be in the game. Well, tonight the fans say that Florida really showed them that they deserve to be there and that they deserve to win. Rock? All right, great job, Lori. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. All right, you get home safe and... It looked like everybody was having a good time without any trouble, and that's the way we like to see it. Now, the partying is going to continue, no doubt about that, up in Gainesville. I believe Ohio State is still now at, uh, at the podium. If we want to check in there and let's go, should we go now live to Arizona? All right, what we're going to do is we'll, we're going to give you the highlights, and then we'll go out there for the post game. They are still conducting interviews. This is the opening kickoff. This is Teddy Ginn, and Ginn makes a move here, 93 yards to the house on the opening kickoff, and Ohio State takes a seven to nothing lead. Buckeye fans going crazy, Gators in shock. Four minutes later though, Gators Chris Lee hits Dallas Baker in the end zone, and we are all tied at seven. Let the celebration, let the chop begin, even on the sidelines. Gators now in the red zone, second and goal. Meyer calls for the option. Percy Harvin with the speed, gets outside. Is he in? Was his knee down? No, he is in. Four yards out. 
Gators take a 14-7 lead. Bam, bam, two quick touchdowns. Gators, D, shuts down Heisman Trophy winner Troy Smith. Cannot get out of containment. He was negative 29 yards rushing on the night. Second now, Deshaun Wynn, capping off a 71-yard drive for the Florida Gators. Gators starting to pull away 21-7 Florida. However, here comes Ohio State. Antonio Pittman, 18-yard run. No relation to Michael Pittman here. A little bit closer now. Gators with a lead, 21-14. Chris Hetland, his longest of the year, 33. This is 43 yards and good. Off the schneid. Gives him confidence, 24-14. Urban Meyer says, put in Hetland again, right through the uprights. So the Gators increase their lead. We're showing you a lot of offense. Got to show you more D. The Gators D, Smith. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nowhere to go. Could not do anything with the speed of the Gators defense. This turnover here sets up Tim Tebow. Is he going to run it? No, the fake. Andre Caldwell, Tampa native. Wide open, corner of the end zone. 34-14 Gators, and it's only at the half. More Gator Nation. Tim Tebow is going to take this one in himself. 41 to 14 is your final. As Lori mentioned, the Gators win the national championship in hoops and in football in the same calendar year. And that has never, ever been done. There you see Chris Leak. He is named the offensive player of the game. We will now go to.